Oh. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Abort mission. Abort mission. I think I'm going to leave it there. I have sprayed on an extra um, sideburn because clearly I want another one. <laughs> Desperate times call for desperate measures. I am heading to Chemist Warehouse because I need to find a hair solution. I just can't do this. Uh, yeah, this spray sunscreen is very good. So we'll be purchasing that when we need it in the summer. I heard lots of good things about the La Roche Pose. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. Oh, they're now stocking a red can at Chemist Warehouse. Amping it up. Very really impressive. Here we go, this is what I'm after, the Magic Green Touch. And I also saw this online, which was a more precise retouching tool, like a mascara. Look. Dark brown, brown, maybe brown? Ooh, I don't know, dark brown, dark brown. Okay, the temples and scattered greys. Yeah, that does look pretty good. So I'm not sure whether to go for this. The Magic Retouch Spray. Oh, decisions. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the more temporary one, which seems to be the spray. Uh, only because um, this one seems a bit more permanent and you do have to blow dry it out and let it sit for five minutes. So I think I might go for this just in case it doesn't work out for me. So let's just give this Magic Retouch spray a go. Can't believe I'm doing this, first time ever. And just to be aware, there is Clarol Root uh, Touch Up, there is Schwarzkopf, there is a brand I've never heard of. We have a hair color mascara. Uh, we have a hair color stick. Um, so there's plenty of other options and there's even this Clarol Root Touch as well which is a lot cheaper actually. Ew. Oh, there's that too. Now I'm going to consider that. Gosh, can you actually believe this? This is a VP fragrance for men. Apparently selling like hotcakes. Right, this is really funny. I'm laughing. I'm laughing on the inside. And sometimes you just need some good old-fashioned pikelets. And no, not the ones you make yourself. I'm talking the cardboardy bad reputation ones from Coles, which are actually absolutely amazing. They're very fluffy and perfect with a bit of butter and jam. And that's just what I need this morning because it, it's been a day. There's been things going on, but this is what I need right now. Breakfast of a champion. Okay, we are back home and armed with this little guy. So I've never used this before. This is the L'Oreal Magic Retouch uh, Instant Root Concealer Spray. And hell, have I put on way too much concealer and eye makeup for a daytime look, but we're rolling with it. I didn't get much sleep. Okay, I have desperately been <laughs> struggling with the fact that, you know, we can't get to the hairdressers. My hair is far too long. It's just not doing what I want it to do. And uh, the greys are just, if you can see here, this is the before. The greys are just coming in, oh, just really nicely. Wow, if I was growing them on purpose, I'd be like so proud of myself. Oh, look, I've even got side, sideburn greys. <gasps> sideburn greys, guys. Yes, having a great day. Anyway. Uh, let's read the instructions. So it says to shake well before use, keep the product upright, apply to dry styled hair. Styled hair. 
styled hair. Okay, I thought I would style my hair after. Um, styling my hair, can I be bothered? Not really. I will shake the can though. <laughs> That's one part. Um, I guess I'll just take my hair down. I did wash it yesterday. All right, so let's give it a bit of a brush. Um, just to, you know, make it look like I've tried to make an effort. Okay, and as you can see, oh, they're even more prominent now. All right, so where I need to be spraying is around here and just the hairline and unfortunately the sideburns. Um, I mean, should I be wearing gloves for this? I don't know. All right, so I'm happy with that. Um, hairspray, hairspray, hairspray. One moment, guys. Okay, that's the best that I can do. So I'm assuming they want you to style your hair first so you don't disturb it afterwards. Right, now, um, hold 10 centimeters from here and spray roots in a light stream. Don't overspray, a small amount is enough. Avoid spraying on skin fabrics and delicate surfaces. Well, I've come prepared, I'm wearing my Terry Tally robe, which I highly suggest everyone get for these kinds of situations. Oh, it's quite precise, look at that nozzle. Okay, I'm kind of scared. Should I be holding a hand mirror while I'm doing this? Right, hold on. Okay, I have a hand mirror on the zooming in part, and we are spraying 10 centimeters around here, maybe. Gosh, I'm kind of frightened. Okay, let me close my eyes. No, I should open my eyes, shouldn't I? <laughs> Keep eyes open. Uh, watch what you're doing. Yes, don't close your eyes. Um, Oh. oh my lord. Okay, okay. Abort mission. Abort mission. Oh, okay, that's okay. My cellar water. Thank you. Got it here. My cellar water. Okay, that, that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I know why. I don't like this rape. It's very really hard to aim with this nozzle. Alright, let's keep going. Let's continue with the process. We've started now, we can't go back. There's no um, perfume to this, by the way, so it's more I'm scared of inhaling anything that might be coming out of here. Alright, let's see what it does to the sideburns. Oh my... So this is why you shouldn't let me in to anything to Oh my gosh. I think I've done enough. Um, I have sprayed on an extra um, sideburn because clearly I want another one. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Gosh, look what I've just done to my forehead. <gasps> so this has turned out to be an utter disaster. I'm just going to wipe this off. Oh my gosh, it's actually put dots on my... It's giving me freckles. Okay, so what I can say, honestly... I'm going 
hope to give you my honest beauty review right now. If I have used it wrong, L'Oreal, I apologize. Um, but upon spraying, it leaves me with freckles that I never knew that I had. Um, and I wish I hadn't done my makeup first because now I have to redo it. Uh, oh, and look, it's left me with this as well. Okay, so beauty review. I believe what might be better than a spray would be um, they have another option which is like a mascara, a hair mascara where you can just apply it like that. And I think I should have gone down that path, but I will know for next time. And hopefully there is no next time, so we won't be locked down too much longer. Now, let's give the beauty review on the covering up of the greys. In terms of the after, yes, I believe it has concealed my greys to some extent. Not fully, but my goodness, does my hair look a lot better than I did before the colour. Yes, do I feel confident now? I do. Maybe I've been a bit harsh, but my recommendation is, I don't know, wear a face mask while you're doing this, if that's even a thing. Um, and definitely, um, yeah, don't do your makeup beforehand because you're gonna get it all over your face and it leaves a lot of residue. And now I'm worried, I'm like, is it going to stain my skin? Or lucky that I'm wearing makeup that I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, that part I didn't like. Concealing the greys, I'd say it's done a 7 out of a 10 job. Um, I wouldn't say it's given me full coverage, but just enough to take the silver off, the edge off. And um, yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. I don't want to do that again. No. Okay, so I'm now going to uh, touch up my makeup. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. I guess I'll just put in a bit more of this, my Bare Minerals, which I do need to order my second round of this because I'm very, very happy with this. And that's all I'm wearing today with a bit of um, concealer. So um, my skin has been behaving itself. Um, that was an interesting experience. And I don't mean to brand bash. I'm sure maybe if used properly, it wouldn't do that. But I don't want to use a product that's going to run the risk or just, it's not the product. I think it's the design of maybe the spray bottle. Um, that's going to run the risk of basically giving me freckles and going all over my freshly done makeup. So, yeah. Um, but I have to say now that my roots are more concealed, that I am feeling a lot more confident. A lot more confident. Um, confident enough actually to even film because I was so defeated by my greys that I did not want to go on camera. I just felt really um, just not myself. I just, I don't know, I just, yeah. I think you've seen my mood throughout this video so you can just sort of understand or maybe just uh, have a glimpse of how I was feeling. But thank you, L'Oreal. I, I do feel uh, a lot better, thank you. Uh, that my greys are concealed and I do have my confidence back. It didn't quite go as I had planned, <laughs> but thank you all the same because now I have a temporary solution until we can get to the hairdressers. And now I'm confident and sorry it took this long guys. We have the long awaited cotton on hole haul, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm gonna get out of this robe, get on my glad rags and let's actually get this video done and it's going to touch up a bit more and I will see you in a sec and it is definitely the season to whip out the Lacura Beauty from Aldi um their lip gloss in shade Natural Touch which is a lovely like corally peachy shimmery lip gloss and it comes with two ends so this end comes with the color applicator and this is the prep and prime. So this sort of fills in any lines, like a nice little lip balm consistency. But I love this product and have repurchased this several times because this color just, I just love this color. I love lipsticks that aren't too dark, but aren't too pink and just that sort of orangey in the middle kind of spring vibe. So it's been a while since I've whipped this out, but very glad that I have. Okay, let's pick an outfit. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm feeling a dress today because it is nice and warm, uh, but it's not that warm that maybe I have to have my legs all out. So I think I'll go for a maxi 
floral. Should I get my arms out? Yeah, why not? And I haven't worn this yet. It was meant to be for summer, but you know what? I'm feeling this today because I'm now in a very sunny floral mood. So let's get this own. I'm not sure if anyone else does this, but when I buy something, I never take the tag off. I just let it sit in my cupboard until like I wear it. Um, but I have bought this quite a while ago um, by one of my favorite brands, which is Faithful, the brand. They just do the most flattering feminine dresses and tops and pants and all sorts of things all in lovely natural materials and it's being very stubborn <laughs> but anywho um we yeah, absolutely love this brand i have a few of their pieces in fact i might even make a separate video on my faithful the brand pieces just to show you kind of what the vibe is for their brand but um yes feeling this today most definitely and can't wait to rip this off okay so this is the dress on full length and it has lovely adjustable straps and also a lovely open back and yes i've got a bra on underneath this however i probably would wear some like um a strapless or a supportive um chicken fillet situation but hey can't be bothered don't care it's a saturday um and i have simply accessorized with and I know we're getting very dark here. Just a very old, I think it's Kukai, uh, three laid choker. And I have brought this out for a while. It's got beautiful little heart um, details, which is very gorgeous. And I've mixed my metals today with a bit of silver and gold with my Soko um, stacking ring. So I've got two in this hand, one in the other, and I've got my new witchery pearl. So really mixing up with the truly, which I'm really liking the effect, to be honest. Um, and uh, one thing though that I find very annoying about these stacking necklaces is that they always end up tangled. Doesn't matter what you do or how you store them, when you end up putting them on, you always end up in a mess. But anyhow, apart from that, it's it's I'm enjoying <laughs> I'm enjoying the stacked look without having to sort of grab three different necklaces and throw them together. So finally, I give you the cotton on pool, guys, and sorry it took far, 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 far too long for this to happen. However, um, you know how I've been feeling lately and I just needed to get my confidence back, which I believe I have actually. So there you are, let's get to it. So let's see what I ordered. Um, Cause it's been a while and I have had other orders since, but I will get to that in another video. Uh, ah, yes. So I ordered myself uh, some denim shorts. Now, I'm very particular with denim shorts and I don't think you need many. I think just one or two pairs will do actually in your wardrobe. Um, and I thought it was time for me to just move on from some of my tighter, older pairs. Um, so I've gotten myself a high rise uh, denim short. This is called their Mum High Rise Denim Short and in a lov lovely natural wash color with the turned up cuffs, which I thought was a really nice detail. Um, I actually have reordered this, so I ordered this in my regular size, but I found it a little bit tight around the waist. Um, so I did order the size up because I did wanted, want a more relaxed look and also wanted something that came right out from the hips, so nothing too clingy. Uh, again, to get that lovely A-line silhouette and to balance out my broad shoulders. Um, so I think this might be a winner. So looking forward to trying those on. And then I also picked up, oh, this is exciting. Okay, so you know I love a car ward. Um, so I picked up one for summer or spring, depending on how hot the weather gets, um, in a crisp white. And I'm not sure if you recall me trying on in one of my other videos, a gingham cord, which I intended for spring, summer, but it was just too much pattern for me, guys. And I was saying, gee, I wish there was a co out there that just, you know, was a more basic one or in all white while well, I found one. Um, but instead of getting the pants version, I ended up getting uh, shorts with the, oh, sorry, this is the top, guys. <laughs> it's a cropped cotton top with a bit of a, a woven uh, texture. So I got that to pair with uh, the matching shorts. And this comes from the Riviera range. It comes in a range of colors. And um, put this, this would be really nice and breathable and comfortable for just lounging in spring summer and uh, a lot more affordable than the peony uh, cord that I picked up and had to return consequently so looking forward to trying this one on I feel like it has a lot of promise and it's interesting that my haul tends to sort of reflect right now uh, what I usually wear during spring well 
more summer, which is a lot of staples and basics. I don't go for anything too loud or with too much design. I tend to wear just a lot of uh, staples and then just jazz it up with lots of accessories. <laughs> now, next I picked up this, oh, that's right, this shift dress. And I am not one to wear dresses that are rather shapeless, but it has a racer cut top, which is very flattering for me. Again, it hides the fact that I have quite broad shoulders and sort of draws the attention more inwardly to, to the neck area. And I also think it's very elegant to be wearing something high necked um, in general. I'm really liking that look lately. So I picked this up in a linen color and I went to size down for this one because I could see it was quite a relaxed fit on the model and I like things to be not too relaxed. I like to have a little bit of shape. <laughs> I don't want to be hiding underneath there. So picked this up in a nice natural color and lastly, which is the most exciting purchase, I picked up a pair of slides and yes i'm on the ugly slide train people this is called their cabin molded slide again by ruby shoes which is the brand that they stock at cotton on and i got it in a black and i'm having massive regrets now because i wish i'd got them in the cream as well i was like no let's just try one pair and see how i like them so I do have to say that I have slotted these on my feet just very briefly and I fell in love with them. They're an absolute dupe for the Yeezy slides and I'm not a Yeezy gal or anything like that but there are, these ugly slides are pretty cute I have to say and I did go for the black thinking they would grow more with uh, sort of outfits and I thought the cream would get dirty and then I tried them on and I'm like damn. I want the cream. Went online, completely sold out. Everyone was raving about them and now they're completely gone. There are a few other colors left. So if you want to pop online now, these are the cabin molded slides. Absolutely uh, fantastic dupe for the Yeezy slides. However, uh, upon Googling, and I will link an alternative down below, I did find a lot of dupes out there on Amazon and a few other companies that do sell this kind of style of slide as well. So never fear, if you are after the cream colored ones or a different colored one, uh, there are other options out there. So let's not, uh, without further ado, let's actually try these on and see how they go. And uh, one wonderful thing is that uh, this bag is recycled. However, I'm not sure if I can recycle this in our regular recycling, but Coles does have an option now. They have these red recycle bins outside the store where you can recycle your soft plastics like this. So I'll be saving all of these to recycle later on. Do your bit for the environment, guys. Okay, so outfit number one is a two for one. I have got on the cabin molded slides and yes, the shape is gorgeous. I didn't think I'd fall in love with the ugly slide trend, but here I am. I have fallen completely victim to it and uh, I'm not ashamed to say so guys. And if you can see a sneak peek of something down there, that is coming in my next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, in terms of the shift dress, this is just the perfect length above the knee, not too short. Um, in this lovely baby doll style, the racer neck um, lends itself beautifully uh, to not overwhelming my shoulder area and it's just really comfortable and floaty for summer. So definitely keeping this one. Okay, look number two. These are the high rise mum denim shorts and they are the perfect size now. Nice and relaxed, enough room for that food baby or a beer baby or whatever kind of indulgences you do during the uh, warmer times of the year. And I've just kept these cabin molded slides on and paired it with a really old general pants um, racer vest. Um, but yeah, just the right size. So I do recommend sizing up and I am really liking the way that it comes out at the waist and gives the legs lots of room to breathe. Cause again, in summer we don't want anything tight. And I've just paired it with my Colt Gaia uh, mini arc bag um, just to complete this very casual summer look. And for the finale, the Coord, which I am absolutely loving super comfortable and yes the crop top is a little bit cropped i grant you that i will give you that um 
but you can hoist the shorts up as much as you like because again they're a very relaxed fit and also a nice way to conceal the fact that there may be a bit of a gap here um, and also that it is an all white outfit which does tend to lend itself that it does need a bit of uh, colour thrown in so I just popped it in with a very neutral uh, bag here and some neutral shoes. Um, which you would have seen in my recent uh, shoe haul <laughs> but uh, and ignore the messy carpet it does need a vacuum uh, but yeah this is just perfect for throwing on going out for a bit of uh, dinner or anything like that during summer or a fishing trip moment by the beach uh, that's if we're allowed to you know in the coming months let's keep our fingers and toes crossed but yeah very very comfortable and uh, yes I do see that I'm wearing the wrong coloured underwear for this. I've got a baggy blue pair on, uh, but probably wear neutrals under this because it is a little bit sheer. Uh, but apart from that, I'm very happy with all of these items and will be keeping very, very pleased with this little haul. And all these items were purchased 30% off. As I have noticed during uh, lockdown, Cotton On uh, has been very generous, which I do appreciate. And they generally have a 30% sale on online and not to mention their sales are very sneaky. So I do suggest becoming a member because I've been in store many times and purchased things and then gone back home and gone online to see if I've missed anything um, and found that they have a 30% off sale, but it will not be in store. It is only online. So that is another little shopping hack for Cotton On. I think it is better to shop online because you do get more of a discount which is a bit of a sneaky thing but hey these are these are the times that we need the discounts um but yes i will link all of these items in the description box down below i do hope you enjoyed this really old-fashioned style um <laughs> try on haul everybody please do like and subscribe for more videos and i think i'm going to leave this video here because uh, i'm running short on storage again which is very weep sad um but this is what we're dealing with right now which is fine um but yes hope you enjoyed all the items that i have worn or featured will be linked in the description box if they are out of stock i will link similar in the meantime take care during this uh, isolation period we will get through this and I will see you on the other side in my next video. <laughs> All right, take care everyone. Bye.